William Ruto, stop. Stop blaming. Stop blaming Ford Foundation. Stop blaming the opposition. There's a time you're even trying to bring the name of Uhuru Kenyatta into this. You are beginning to sound like Mili Vanilli and the song Blame It on the Rain, Blame It on the Sun, Blame It on the Stars, Blame It, but whatever you do, don't blame it on me. That's how you're sounding. You are unbelievable. Stop addressing who is behind the agencies. Start addressing what is behind the agencies. Respond to the issues. And they are saying, basically, yours is the most corrupt government. Yours is the most tribalized government. And you changing your cabinet does not change anything. Because it is not that we cabinet you dismiss that is the problem. Even if we give you today a cabinet of angels, nothing will change as long as William Ruto is president. Because William Ruto is the problem. It's not the cabinet. The parliament that is there today, that stands impeached by the people of Kenya, by order of the Gen Z, of the 25th of June 2024, parliament stands impeached. When the people exercised their power under Chico 1 and stormed parliament, and took the mess, they symbolically took back their power and authority. The only thing left of this parliament now, as they resume and as they convene, is to do one thing and one thing only. Mm -hmm. Complete the reconstitution of IEBC and facilitate the calling of fresh elections and go home to face the people that you let down by voting yes and passing bad laws that have oppressed them. This is what is left. And if there's any dialogue we should have with William Ruto, it is when he's resigning and when he's going home because the people have said, Ruto must go. go. The position we have taken as DAP is that we will not be party to the dialogue or to the broad-based government. If our colleagues in Azimio choose to join, will not be party to it. That will be their position. And we believe every Azmio coalition party is today holding their neck to make individual decisions. 